Imagine a world without video. What would our world be like? No movies, no TV shows, no YouTube. Can you see how different that world was? Well, that was our world before the advent of moving pictures. Since Thomas Edison, the Lumiere brothers and other innovators of the late 19th century succeeded in bringing full motion to still photographs, media and marketing have never been the same. Think about it. The power of full motion sight and sound changed the world forever. From 1947 to 1953, 30 million TV sets were sold in the U.S., giving birth to the most pervasive and persuasive media and marketing platform in history. USS stands for quality steel. Now, you good people ain't so dumb you don't know what's important. TV advertising became the engine that drove consumer demand. Don't be a... With the introduction of television in the late 40s, three major networks stood as the gatekeepers of programming and advertising. The economic models surrounding content distribution and advertising were clear, and business flourished. You're watching Home Box Office. From 1984 through 1992, the cable industry spent more than $15 billion on the wiring of America. But what the cable companies may not have realized when they built these networks is that one day, their cables would bring broadband internet connection to the masses, which would eventually serve to undermine the long-established economic rules of video distribution. Video sharing opened the floodgates for anyone to create and distribute video content. There's an opportunity now to allow customers to bring that content into their life when they want it. Videonomics, I mean, it's like, how do you start thinking about the whole business model and the economics of video when it happens everywhere? And the demand for content is extraordinary. As broadband penetration led to a tipping point for online video, a half century of stable economic models around video content were abruptly challenged, bringing chaos to the media environment. YouTube has reached a remarkable milestone Every second, 3,600 seconds or one hour of video is uploaded to the site. Uh, the reality is now we have an opportunity to create our own media and speak directly to consumers in our own voice. Creating content that the consumers want is going to absolutely become a core competency for marketing. By the end of this year, internet video will account for over 50% of consumer internet traffic. As an advertiser, you have to seriously think about which piece of content you want to affiliate with which demographic you want to reach, and then who is going to the, deliver that demographic most effectively. Part of videonomics is going to be the consumer recognition that they have value. So the consumer previously was a surf. You know, it's like they were part of an audience. Stuff was done to them. Videonomics, whatever you want to call this, the, the, that construct is shifting dramatically. Television's not going to the web. The web is going to TV. TV viewing and video viewing will become more social and more powerful, and maybe even better. And I think we're going to see fewer and more relevant ads. I think it's going to be a better consumer experience in the end of the day. There's really three things that marketers and broadcasters need to think about. Relevance, resonance, and ownability. The shift in videonomics is, is gargantuan, because the playing field's completely level. You don't need a gatekeeper. Anybody who wants to, to be a visual storyteller can be a visual storyteller in the same way that if they wanted to be a musician, they could learn how to play guitar and become a musician. You can learn how to play the video camera and become a video storyteller. And that's really powerful. Historically, video content has been controlled by some of the biggest corporations on Earth. Today, that is no longer the case. The liberation of content has resulted in massive amounts of video being produced, consumed, and shared worldwide. Economic models that have thrived for over half a century are being abruptly disrupted, and media and marketing are in complete flux. There is no word to describe it until now.